Alright guys, Terry Dactyl here and now we've got the Update 9 release date and the Update 9 subtitle Blood and Steel and Update 9 is coming out on the 25th of March. This is going to be a quick video, there's not that much information we've got from the devs in terms of specifics but they have told us of what is definitely coming in Update 9. So let's quickly run through it. So first up we have the melee system which as I've discussed before it's a combination of being able to equip a melee item and then swing in and it's a one hit kill or pressing a quick melee attack button similar to how Call of Duty does it. There will be multiple melee weapons in the game but we haven't been told which melee weapons are actually coming with update 9 and I'm not sure if they're going to be roll or loadout specific or if you'll be able to actually choose which melee weapon you want. And as far as I know, bayonets are not included in the melee system. So by that I mean being able to equip the bayonet knife onto your weapon and then being able to stab with it. By bayonet, I think they just mean the literal blade itself which you hold with your hand. Next is the server admin camera, which I am really looking forward to because that's going to be able to give us content creators so much more freedom to be able to do so much more stuff with it. It's, it's going to be amazing and it's going to help us find cheaters a lot easier. The zero in fix is going to come in for all firearms. So what that means for me and for you guys who subscribe to my channel is all of my weapon guide videos that I've made in the past. They're going to be remade with this new zero in because all that information in those videos could now be incorrect. Plus, I can look at the bullet penetration for each of those firearms, so stay tuned for that. Next, we have part one of the armor system rework. And this is pretty interesting because it's only part one. I'm pretty sure we were never told that it was going to be part one and part two. So what's, what's going on there? Maybe they couldn't get everything into update nine, so maybe update 10 will include the rest of the armor system rework. What's also interesting to note is that we haven't had a dev briefing on what is actually going on with the armor rework. And since the 25th is the release date, which is a Thursday next week, we're not going to get a dev briefing detailing the armor system before that. So what's going on? Maybe we'll get the dev briefing the day after update 9 to actually tell us what's been changed with the armor system. Community voiceovers are going in as well, which is great. I mean, it would be good if the devs actually told us who won the community voiceover competition, you know, which people have got their voices actually in the game. We also have, I'm guessing, full implementation of Steam achievements, so hopefully when Update 9 drops, because there's so many achievements that I think people have actually got, because there's basic ones like win around, lose around, stuff like that, hopefully that will will be sort of backdated, so you'll just get a spam of achievements when you log in after getting Update 9 installed. New barbed wire is going in, and that's where the barbed wire will now actually block people from walking through it. You won't be able to vault over it, and if you're walking up against the barbed wire, you'll be slowed down and you'll be making a wounded noise to give away your position. But barbed wire will be able to be destroyed with artillery and satchel charges. Also, there's new localization going in, so it could be the Chinese language and other languages going in. No information of which languages are going to be supported. The new default German machine gunner weapon is going in, the MG34. Its default loadout will be using the MG34. You'll have to unlock the MG42, which will be rank 3 or 4. I can't remember which one. Extra loadouts come into the game, just like you know the German machine gunner loadout is going to come in. But they've also said you know, there's going to be more. Just don't know which ones are going to be. And there's bug and crash fixes, which is all good news. We're getting the warm-up staging period for Warfare Mode. This will be where, when there's a new map, you join in and you'll be sort of stuck, I'm guessing, in your home base for, what, maybe a minute, two minutes before you can actually start moving. This is going to allow everyone to actually load the map up, get into their squads, and hopefully the commander and squad leaders can get like a little plan together first. So hopefully that, that just makes the beginning of the matches a bit better. The XP level is going to be increased, and I'm... And I'm guessing this is going to be up to rank 500 just because there's an achievement for it. And I'm wondering if there's actually going to be anyone who's going to get rank 500 straight away. 
new sound improvements are coming in across the board. They haven't said exactly what's being improved apart from BAR, footsteps, and death sounds. And, you know, some of the death sounds are because of the community voiceovers. But we're going to have to listen out to see what the extra new sounds are. The UI is also being changed. Don't know what's being changed on it, so keep an eye out for that. Improved optimization is coming in. So hopefully everyone's going to get more FPS because that's what this game needs. It, it really needs. That's the biggest complaint I've been hearing about the game since the game came out is the optimization. The grass and foliage loading bug is not going to be fixed but it's going to be improved sometimes when you spawn in it can take like 10 seconds or more for the grass and all like the wheat fields to load and that's just terrible so hopefully these improvements are massive improvements the utah beach offensive mode for the german and u.s forces is coming in and the u.s forces will actually start the map landing on the beach in the boats similar to omaha and then we're getting the new weapon models coming in and I'm pretty sure this is including getting blood and mud and like snow on your weapons as well. So it'd be a nice little piece of immersion going into the game there. And we're getting an improved damage occlusion system as well. And what they mean by the occlusion system, I've never been entirely sure. I've googled the definition of it and it's like the act of closing, blocking or shutting something. So I don't know, maybe it could be improving the bullet penetration system, maybe it's the hitboxes because uh, I know there's some strange hitboxes for like destroyed tanks and we also have some extra news on the console announcement for Hell Let Loose I made a short video about this and I think in general it's a great announcement for the game and for the franchise there's been a lot of concerns about it but now we've got some extra information from Black Matter themselves and what they've said is that Black Matter won't actually be working on the console development. A different studio called Flix Interactive will actually be working on the PS5 and the Xbox version. So that means we're still getting the full development studio on the game. No one's been taken away from it, so that's amazing news. Also for crossplay, the PC version will not be involved in the crossplay experience. There's only going to be crossplay between the PlayStation and Xbox. And again, I think that's very good news. One thing that they said is how this is going to benefit the PC version is that gamepad support and accessibility is coming to the PC version because they're going to have to develop a proper control scheme for the Xbox and PS5. We're getting that on PC as well because you know, some players do like to play with a gamepad instead of mouse and keyboard. And also because the consoles are less powerful than like a top gaming PC they're having to put out a lot of extra optimizations to those console versions which will come to the PC but they've said won't actually degrade how good the game looks on PC as well so that's just going to mean better performance for us and then lastly we have a quick look at the Soviet crewman uniform which is on screen right now and that's it for this developer update for Hell Let Loose. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a like, subscribe for more. And thank you for watching.